Hey guys, today it's a long awaited video. I know everybody's anticipated this, but we're going to graph these tomato cuttings to these and potatoes. And we're the purple tomato. And this is the purple. I feel something building up inside me. I must prepare, I must get ready. Serving you, Yahweh. Keeps me strong and steady for you. Lord, I'll go for green living. All right, first thing we have to do is get our tomato cuttings ready. You can see now that it's got this extra, it's trying to grow fruit. We don't want it to grow fruit right now. We don't want it to grow, think about growing these or sucker right there. And actually, I'm going to take off half of that. It looks like I scalped the tomato, but what I'm actually doing is. Uh, getting it ready to be to go through a really stressful time and I've already got this one ready right here and Let me show you what we do to these now. This is the difficult part We're going to make a wedge here in the tomato part so that the green part shows and So I'm going to kind of work away from myself Let's kind of start at an angle and you can kind of see the angle I'm going there and I'm going to work my way down just like that that's the material we want to expose right there we want to do the other side same way that little extra piece we don't need that little extra piece All right, that is, that is a good wedge right there. Now it's time to get our potato ready. So I'm going to take off all these leaves because we don't need any of this down here. And I'm actually going to be filling up the pot to just below this line anyway. Now, about right here, I'm going to go ahead and cut it off. I know this is a, kind of a bad place but just cut that off just like that now with our razor blade we want to make an incision straight down through the center of this take your time don't veer off to one side or the other and make an incision just like that all right we're going to pull that out. Now we're going to take our wedge that we already pre-cut. And I left this out before, but you see the diameter is the same. You want to try to match the diameter as much as possible. I'm going to try to keep my fingers out of the way. And slide it in there till. All right. Now I use Teflon tape here, and you can just see it just, I know you're supposed to use the wax coated tape and all this kind of stuff, but actually the purpose of it is to keep oxygen from getting to the wound. So I'm going to cut off a few pieces of this to make it a little easier on me, and then I'll come back and let you show, what I do, show you what I do with it. All right, now it cut me off about a, a four inch piece and that's something I can work with. And I need to start this kind of tightly. And then I'm gonna make several loops around, making sure that the, the wound or the graft has no oxygen getting into it. Alright, that got a little wadded up there, but 
I got another piece right here. Ready to go. And while I'm doing this, let me point you to a video. It's going to be up there in your left hand corner. And it is where I grafted these the first time, which I'm sure everybody's seen. But also I'm going to put up there the updated video where I actually harvest the potatoes and the tomatoes. I'm going to show you one more time. I already got my tomato wedge cut. And that was just to the angle. I'll show you another time at the end of the video. And then we're just going to take a pair of scissors and cut off all these leaves down here. These are both in the nightshade family. So it's they're just going to be like, oh, I got moved to another one. So it ain't no big deal. All right, we're going to cut it off right below that leaf. Just like that. Alright now, if you remember, we want to go down in the middle. Oh no, there's two. Go down just there's like that. Two. Don't go from one side or the other. And then we take our little cutting and we put it in so the plant complains a little bit. It just makes a little hurt sound. Alright. Take our tape. And we start wrapping up this wound. Still just wrapping this. The paraffin tape will actually fall off after time, but this I'll have to actually remove. All right. You see that's pretty sturdy on there. It'll handle being washed. Alright, let me show you one more time on, on cutting the wedges in tomatoes. And then I'll show you where I keep these to, to let them heal. You want it to be about three quarters of an inch. And I just kind of slightly go in. Kind of work my way just a little deeper. Just like that. That's, that material right there is, is actually what okay. we're after. So let's go right here. Start out slightly, work deeper till we meet up with our other incision. And that one is actually quite perfect right there. Put them underneath the aquaponics system. It's dark and it stays dark down there all the time and it stays a little moist and humid so that it's the perfect place for them to heal. And I would move them out gradually after about a week, start bringing them into mostly shade and then keep working them out till I can get them back into full sun. Alright guys, I hope you enjoy this and I hope this helps. Oni Ove Ocha means I love you Hebrew. Bye guys. Bye hey guys. guys. Live in the way you meant for me to live. Is what I strive to do every day. As I live off the land, lead me at your pace for you. Lord, I'll go for green living. 
Help me to feed all the hungry. Use me, Lord, to ease their misery from all this worldly pain and captivity. For you, Lord, I'll go for a great living. I feel something building up inside me. <laughs> I must prepare. I must get ready. Serving you, Yahweh, keeps me strong and steady. For you, Lord, I'll go for a great living. For you, Lord, I'll go for a great living.